Hello students, welcome to our IVP information session. What am I going to talk about today with my colleagues uh, Evita Nietzsche and Kyle Schmude? We will present you information on where will you study, what is IVP, academics and internships, housing, visa, activities and excursions and the contacts. Vienna, a few impressions and pictures from the students and us taking uh, excursions and uh, the city center. Vienna is the capital of Austria and uh, Austria is located in the very heart of Central Europe, which makes it very uh, convenient uh, to travel to different countries. Demographics and location. Vienna is the multicultural capital and the largest city of Austria. It is also one of Austria's nine federal states. Approximately 2 million people live in the city and nearly 200,000 students. Vienna has always functioned as a bridge between the East and the West of Europe, which makes it also historically a very uh, interesting and uh, attractive um, city. And it functions as a cultural capital and uh, economic and political center within the European Union. One city, many possibilities. Um, in Vienna, you can experience many cultural highlights, uh, concerts, outdoor concerts, free concerts, festivals, theater performances, and so on and so forth. Um, it has a very vibrant city life, uh, international lifestyle and great food, cafe house, culture, many, many um, reasons to come to Vienna, of course. And um, it is located on the edge of the Alps. So it only takes you one hour by train, for example, to reach some very nice um, um, alpine locations. Vienna is repeatedly ranked as the city with the highest quality of life on earth. Um, and of course, it also prides itself on uh, well-respected academic institutions. I'll talk a little later about that. Um, Vienna is a center of international relations, uh, a few examples of institutions, the EU Fundamental Rights Agency, and then of course um, the OSCE, the OPEC, um, the United Nations Headquarters, um, and the International Atomic Energy Agency and the UNIDO. So uh, many, many interesting institutions also for, uh, for internships or visits or job shadowing. Let's learn more about uh, what the Illinois and Vienna programs are and what we offer. What do we stand for? Um, we stand for a strong academic program. We believe in high quality academic study abroad experiences. We have um, an extensive support tutorial system. Um, we offer individual academic advising sessions. And I think one of the biggest strengths of our program is that students can take courses at four Viennese partner universities plus the IVP courses taught by our own staff. Um, a, rich and academic, a rich academic and cultural orientation um, guarantees that you have bureaucratic assistance and can really focus on your academic and professional experiences in this city. We offer guided tours um, and um, make sure that you can really immerse yourself into Viennese culture or real life. Um, students in the past um, have found it difficult to connect uh, with the locals um, and this is what we are trying to offer. We, are, uh, we have contacts with Austrian students going back and forth between um, Illinois and Austria on exchange. We host roundtables for you to meet these Austrian students and invite them to excursions. Why IVP? Um, Experience program staff is eager to help you here. Um, we offer immersion-based language learning. Vienna is our classroom. Um, there are numerous cultural offerings throughout the semester and um, a large network of alumni and friends of our program offer events for you such as mentoring sessions, job shadowing opportunities, help with internships, etc. Um, so we really want to make sure that students who are interested in high quality um, study abroad experiences who really want to reach out to the local population on uh, professional and academic levels, get the help that they need. And we always uh, try to seek new and individual opportunities for you as well. Ideally, you reach out to us uh, even before your study abroad experience. Tell us about your interest and uh, we can start to 
establish a relationship um, already before your arrival in Vienna. Our programs, our current programs, we're continuously um, working on div diversifying our offerings even more. But currently we have ACES in Vienna, um, Gies College of Business Exchange, Econ in Vienna, Engineering, German Language Program, MCB in Vienna, Integrative Biology is also coming up, and the Vienna Diplomatic Program for uh, political science students um, and also global studies uh, students is uh, currently only hosted in fall. Um, our Viennese partner universities, so this is where you can take courses, the Vienna University of Economics and Business with its very attractive uh, modern and new campus. Um, this is also where our IVP office is located. The very large and uh, traditional historic University of Vienna, the University of Natural Resources and Applied Life Sciences, mostly for ACES students, uh, MCB and IB students, interesting, and the Technical University of Vienna, mostly for engineering students. The academic uh, offerings, a little bit more about that. So we said the IVP is... Um, is offering its own uh, courses taught by IVP staff. For example, the German-speaking core courses in the German language program. Um, we offer the Sprachkurs 211 to 1201, uh, topics in German and European culture, a literature course, and so on and so forth. Um, and of course, for everyone who does not speak German, we offer German 101. And for everyone interested in uh, Austria and Austrian and European, culture we offer German 205 in English for everyone. The University of Vienna um, has a wide range of, of course offerings, for example, in languages, literatures, history, political science, European integration, non-Western cultures, art and music history, so a, a, wide, a wide array of courses. The University, the Vienna University of Economics and Business will or am I uh, actually right now in our office? Um, they offer business German and all sorts of topics in, in business, um, administration and economics, European integration, uh, marketing, global branding courses and so on and so forth. Uh, and then the Vienna University of Natural Research and Life Sciences offer courses in agricultural sciences, biology, forestry, environmental studies and in, uh, in this field. Uh, and I said the Technical University of Vienna, of course, for the engineering students. So what you see here, Illinois and Vienna programs in the middle, and then you see the four universities, and uh, usually students from Econ, GLP, and VDP programs take courses at the University of Vienna. Um, ACES and MCB mostly at the BOKU, uh, at the bottom to the left, and then engineering students, of course, at the, at the Rena Technical University, and uh, all students are welcome to take courses in the IVP program core and um, also the offerings at the University of Economics and Business. Um, all students are automatically enrolled at the Wirtschaftsuniversität, at the Vienna University of Economics and Business. So uh, please see this university as, as your gateway to the Austrian university system. So every single IVP student is registered here at the University of Economics and Business. This is our program base, so to speak. We also offer um, our IVP core courses here at this university. We use its infrastructure and uh, believe me, it's excellent. We are very happy to have our office here in this wonderful building that you see on this slide, uh, actually designed by Zaha Hadid, uh, the very famous uh, British um, uh, architect. And... Um, Yes, so uh, depending on your program and your academic interest, you may take courses at, at the other partner universities as well. Um, we usually recommend to limit yourself to two universities, so Wirtschafts, University, University of Economics and Business, and then ideally one more. I mean, we've had students in the past taking courses at two more universities, but that's already a lot. So I think you should, um, you should have very good reasons to go for three universities because the semester is short. It, it might seem long at first, but it passes by very quickly and it takes some time to um, adapt to a new academic culture and the different institutional codes. But it's what we are here for and um, we love to support you through all steps of the way. Now we take a closer look at our courses. Please visit our website and take a look at its course information. We offer 
courses in English and in German. In English, we offer German 101 for all students who have not completed any coursework in German and Austria and Europe, German 205. In German, we offer politics and culture of the European Union, as well as culture and literature classes, and also an advanced German language class. Let's take a closer look at German 101. German 101 is a beginner German class with a lot of interesting excursions. You will get an introduction to the language and culture of the modern German-speaking world. German 205 is about Austria and Europe. You will get an introduction to the relationship between Austria and Europe and you will go on a lot of interesting excursions, for example to the Austrian Parliament. One of our German classes is der Sprachkurs. The Sprachkurs is an advanced German class focusing on writing and speaking with a lot of interesting materials. Literatur- und Kulturkurse. We offer a literature class which helps you improve your oral and written competence and we also focus on German literature, especially of the 20th century, from Germany, Austria and Switzerland. In the culture class, we focus on Austrian culture from the very beginning to the 20th century. And in the EU class, we focus on politics and culture of the, of the EU. Very new in our program is German 101 Online. It's a second eight-week online format with an introduction to the German language and the city of Vienna. We are teaching online with a lot of interesting material, videos, and also synchronous Zoom meetings. And also new is Euro 199 online. It's a very interesting class with instructors from Paris, Rome, Vienna, and Granada. And it helps you understand past and current problems faced by smart cities. There are also online meetings and expert guest speakers about very interesting problems. Let's take a look at our academic calendar. If you come to Vienna in the spring, you will arrive in Vienna in January. If you come for the fall semester, you will arrive at the beginning of September. Each semester we have an orientation that lasts one month. More on that later. In the spring semester, we also have two ski weeks, which each last one week. These are always the second to last and the last week of January. At the ski weeks, you will have ski instruction in the Austrian Alps, and you will also earn one kinesiology credit hour. You can check out our YouTube channel for more videos and pictures from last year's ski week. As I mentioned, we have orientation each semester. This is in February for the spring semester and in September for the fall semester. There are also two different orientations, one in English, which takes place in German 101, and there's also one in German for students that have already taken some German coursework. Let's take a look at some different housing opportunities you have when you come to Vienna. You can choose to live in House Panorama in a single occupancy room or in House Erasmus in a double occupancy room. Both of the dorms that we work with are about the same di distance to the different universities here in Vienna. You also can choose to have an independent housing arrangement. Some students in the past have chosen to live in Airbnb rooms for this semester or other apartment situations. All students studying abroad in Vienna will need a visa. But don't worry, we'll help you plan all of the documents you need and make sure you have opportunity to apply for your visa before you come to Vienna. If you're a citizen of the European Union, you do not need to apply for a visa. If you're a Canadian citizen or a United States citizen, you can also apply for your visa in Bratislava, Slovakia after arrival. And we will also help you prepare for that if that's how you choose to apply your visa. Let's take a look at some of our academic excursions and our cultural program. Each semester, we have a variety of excursions that are tied into our cultural program. For example, we have gone in the past to the Wachau region of Austria, a region that's very famous for wine, located about an hour and a half outside of the city. We go to a variety of museums. We go to monthly concerts and theater performances. We go hiking just outside the city. And we also have monthly Stammtische or round tables with Austrian students. A lot of these students have either studied abroad in Illinois already or are going to study abroad in Illinois. So it helps you get involved in the network between Illinois and Vienna that we are so proud of and happy to have here in Vienna. Here are some pictures from previous excursions that we have participated in with our students. 
We also have a very expansive network of alumni and friends. These people have either come to Vienna to study abroad from the University of Illinois, or from Austria that have studied abroad in Illinois, or they're just people we've met along the way. Our alumni and friends often host professional development sessions and job shadowing opportunities, and they really help you get a, say, a sense of what it feels like to work in Vienna or in another international context. It's also a great way to increase your network of professional friends and colleagues while you're studying abroad. We're also happy to offer Illinois Virtual Global Experiences. We offer a variety of micro and macro virtual project opportunities for Illinois students. You can check out the list of these projects that we are currently working on and have worked on at the link here. And you can also check out our first project report, which we completed this last semester. Students that have studied abroad in Vienna have also commonly participated in internships and other opportunities. You can take a look at our website for more detailed information. Some places where students have interned have, for example, been the State Department, the United, Nation, the United States Mission to International Organizations, MONDI, American Chamber of Con uh, Commerce, and so many more international organizations and companies here in Vienna. We really hope you will join us here in Vienna, but until you do, please follow us and like us on Facebook and Instagram, where we post a variety of content that helps you get an idea of what it's like to live and study here in Vienna. Here is our content information. Dr. Alexandra Pfeffele, the program director. My name is Karl Schmude. I am the program assistant and lecturer, as well as my colleague Evita Nitsch, who is also a program assistant and lecturer. Thank you so much for your attention. We are looking forward to meeting you here in Vienna. In the meantime, please take a look at our website, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and let us know if you have any questions. Dankeschön und auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.